The Perfect Illusion Jack sat in the dimly lit coffee shop, his fingers drumming nervously on the wooden table. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee filled the air, mingling with the sound of soft jazz music playing in the background. He had frequented this place for years, finding solace in its cosy atmosphere. Today, however, his mind was miles away. He had known for a while that something was off with his girlfriend, Lisa. Her late-night texts, secretive behaviour and sudden disinterest in their relationship were all red flags. But it wasn't until he saw the message on her phone that his suspicions were confirmed. Lisa was cheating on him. Heartbroken and angry, Jack decided he couldn't just let this go. He needed a plan, something that would let him confront Lisa and make her understand the pain she had caused. As he sipped his coffee, a dark idea began to form in his mind. He would stage their engagement and humiliate her in front of all her friends. The next few weeks were a whirlwind of preparations. Jack bought a beautiful engagement ring, one that Lisa would never suspect was fake. He called up Lisa's friends and organised a surprise engagement party, making sure everyone would be there to witness the moment. He even hired a photographer to capture the event, knowing the photos would make their way onto social media. Every detail had to be perfect, ensuring that Lisa would be completely blindsided. As the day of the party approached, Jack felt a mix of excitement and dread. He rehearsed his speech in front of the mirror countless times, making sure he could deliver it without faltering. He knew that what he was about to do was drastic, but he couldn't shake the image of Lisa's betrayal from his mind. This wasn't just about revenge, it was about reclaiming his dignity and showing Lisa the consequences of her actions. Finally, the night of the party arrived. Jack could feel his heart pounding in his chest as he walked into the elegant rooftop bar where the celebration was taking place. The venue was perfect, with twinkling fairy lights and a stunning view of the city skyline. Lisa was already there, surrounded by her friends and laughing, as if she hadn't a care in the world. She looked radiant in a shimmering dress, her smile lighting up the room. For a moment, Jack felt a pang of doubt. Could he really go through with this? Pushing his doubts aside, Jack took a deep breath and approached her. Lisa, he said, taking her hand, can I talk to you for a moment? Lisa looked surprised but nodded, following him to a quieter corner of the bar. Jack could see the curiosity in her eyes, the anticipation. She had no idea what was coming. He got down on one knee, pulling out the ring. Lisa, will you marry me? For a moment, there was stunned silence. Then Lisa's face broke into a wide smile. Yes, Jack, yes, I will. Cheers erupted from the crowd and Lisa's friends rushed over to congratulate them. The photographer snapped away, capturing the joyous moment. The flash of the camera lit up their faces, freezing their expressions in time. But Jack wasn't finished yet. As Lisa admired the ring on her finger, Jack stood up and held up his hand for silence. I have something to say, he announced, his voice steady. Lisa, I thought tonight would be a perfect time to make a confession. I've known for a while now that you've been seeing someone else. A shocked gasp ran through the crowd. Lisa's smile faded, replaced by a look of confusion and fear. What are you talking about, Jack? Jack pulled out his phone and displayed the incriminating messages for everyone to see. You've been cheating on me, Lisa, and I wanted everyone here to know the truth. The room fell silent, the festive atmosphere evaporating in an instant. Lisa's friends looked at her with a mix of disbelief and disappointment. Lisa herself turned pale, her eyes filling with tears. Jack, I can explain. But Jack shook his head. No, Lisa, there's nothing left to explain. This engagement was just an illusion, just like our relationship. With that, he turned and walked away, leaving Lisa standing there, humiliated and alone. As he exited the bar, Jack felt a strange mix of sadness and relief. It wasn't the ending he had hoped for, but it was the closure he needed. 
Outside, the night air was cool and refreshing. Jack took a deep breath, feeling the weight lift off his shoulders. He didn't know what the future held, but he knew he had done the right thing. And for the first time in a long while, he felt free. Epilogue. The days following the staged engagement were a blur for Jack. News of the incident spread quickly through their social circles and he was inundated with messages from friends and acquaintances. Some praised him for his bravery, while others criticised him for the public humiliation. Jack tried to stay off social media, focusing instead on moving forward with his life. Lisa, on the other hand, became a ghost. She stopped attending social events and her once active social media accounts went silent. Mutual friends told Jack that she was devastated, struggling to come to terms with what had happened. Despite everything, Jack couldn't help but feel a pang of sympathy for her. They had shared good times after all, and he had once loved her deeply. One evening, about a month after the party, Jack received a message from Lisa. She asked to meet, saying she needed to apologise and explain. After some deliberation, Jack agreed. They met at a small park where they had often gone during happier times. Lisa looked tired and worn, a stark contrast to her usual vibrant self. Jack, she began, her voice trembling. I'm so sorry for everything. I know what I did was unforgivable and I don't expect you to take me back. I just wanted you to know that it wasn't about you. I was going through some things and I made terrible choices. Jack listened quietly, letting her speak. When she finished, he sighed. Lisa, I appreciate your apology, but trust, once broken, is hard to rebuild. I hope you find the help you need and can move on from this. They parted ways with a sense of finality. Jack walked away feeling lighter, knowing that he had done everything he could to find closure. As he looked up at the night sky, he realised that this was a new beginning for him. He was ready to move forward, leaving the past behind. With time, Jack found himself again. He rediscovered old hobbies, spent time with friends, and eventually opened his heart to love once more. The experience had changed him, but it had also made him stronger. And as he moved forward, he knew that he would never settle for anything less than true happiness. Jack thought he had it all, a loving girlfriend, a promising future and a perfect life ahead. But when he discovers that Lisa, the woman he planned to marry, has been unfaithful, his world comes crashing down. Determined to reclaim his dignity, Jack devises a bold plan to stage their engagement and publicly expose her betrayal. Amidst the backdrop of a seemingly perfect celebration, Jack's revelation shatters the illusion of their relationship, leaving Lisa humiliated and alone. As Jack walks away from the wreckage, he embarks on a journey of self-discovery and healing learning that sometimes the end of an illusion is just the beginning of true freedom.